doesn't want to be the cool kid? They're the ones that have the most friends, the coolest clothes. They're the ones that everyone wants to follow. But is that really what makes someone cool or popular? Popularity, a thing that so many people chase. But have you ever stopped to really think about what makes someone popular? Who decides? I was an 80s kid, and believe me, we had some crazy ideas about popularity. From the hairstyles, to the clothing, to our rock stars, even the way we played our music, everything was way over the top. I owned this actual model of stereo. It was about the size of a small printer, weighed in at 25 pounds. It took eight D-cell batteries. I would be willing to bet that it wouldn't be considered cool to walk down the hall of your school with this thing on my shoulder, blasting out simple minds, rocking my acid wash jeans, and a leather jacket with 20 extra zippers. Don't worry if you didn't understand any part of that last sentence. That's the point. Times change, and the definition of cool changes right along with it. The clothes change. The music changes. Even the way we talk to each other changes. But you know what? Chasing after popularity hasn't changed one bit. Why do we do this crazy dance every generation? Well, all right, maybe not that exact crazy dance, but you get the idea. Why do we want to be popular so much that we are willing to do crazy things to get that approval? Why do we put on a mask and pretend to be someone we really aren't just to fit in? Well, the truth is we're built to seek approval. It's how we're made. We can't escape it. But that's not actually a bad thing. In fact, that's how God designed us. The danger comes when we seek approval in the wrong places. The Apostle Paul warned us about this. In Galatians 1.10, he said, Am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. God will never ask you to be something you are not or to put on a mask. In fact, God wants you to put all of that fake stuff away and be authentic with Him. God knows you completely. Every hope, every dream, every flaw and tiny imperfection, every desire of your heart, and He loves you completely. The Christian walk is not about becoming someone different to please God. It's about becoming the perfect version of yourself, the person God created you to be. Following Jesus is perfect freedom. Freedom from the trends of fashion and music. Freedom from the desire for more and more likes and the approval of your peers. Freedom to be really free in yourself, and the freedom to be loved completely. Are you sick of the treadmill of popularity? Then step off and step into your real life with Jesus Christ.